things you have to be aware of. If you are sitting down and somebody comes up behind you and they might be, hey, how's it going, buddy? How's it going? They might be chumming up to you like this and, and being a bit abrasive in some situations. Now, one of the most vulnerable points that you can get into is when you go to stand up. So if I'm in this position and he goes to stand up, at this point in time, he has no center of gravity. He has no control. So he really has to be able to move in a manner to avoid my attack or the control that I'm going to have on him because sitting down he doesn't have control of his mobility and strength and stance which is give, going to give me a big edge over him so you really have to be aware that some people will try to take this opportunity to their advantage now if the situations were re reversed here and I was sitting down and, my, and somebody was coming up to me to try to, to razz me or something like that, and I'm at a bar. And from this position, instead of going to stand up where i got to utilize my whole center of gravity and come up, what I want to do is I take the same motion that he turns me, and I just go with this motion. This allows me to push myself off and carry on using that energy for myself rather than against myself. So you really have to be aware, because in the process of going to get up, or going to stand down, you have no control, you have no power or no strength. So in this situation again, as he went to, to, to grab onto me and I felt his energy coming this way, I'm just going to go with that energy rotating around, which is going to give me an opportunity to get off. So if it happened all at once and he came to grab onto me and I felt his energy and I turned myself around, coming right up and controlling his arm, taking out his leg maybe, Coming up, if I wanted to strike him, it depends on the situation. I might not want to strike him. I just might want to take his center of gravity away from him and pull him back in this manner here.